So PC Express has reached the 5.0 standard for oh, a couple of years now still, but PC Express 5.0 SSDs are just relatively new and therefore quite expensive. That doesn't actually make sense to spend an extra hundred dollars or hundred bucks on an SSD that is the same size just because it has a newer standard. Well, today we're going to talk about that. So looking at a spec sheet of an SSD, depending if it is 3.0, 4.0 or PC Express 5.0 can mislead you somewhat because most of the manufacturers on the huge advertising give out numbers for the sequential read and writes, which is on 5.0 SSDs like 12,000 MB or like 12 gigabytes per second read and write. And on PC Express 4.0 SSDs was about eight gigabytes per second. And on 3.0 SSDs was like three to four gigabytes per second. So they already were pretty fast and now just got faster. But the real reason why this isn't really the whole truth is because uh, most of the files you are going to be using on an SSD are gonna be relatively small. These sequential read and write speeds are just for huge file sizes. So like if you were copying more video clips, like multiple gigabyte big video clips, then you would reach those copy speeds. But if you were, for example, using smaller data sets, such as in games or some applications, then these speeds kind of, well, they kind of get smaller because an SSD is the smaller the data sets get, the slower obviously the copying process is gonna be. On hard drives, obviously that's also going to be much lower or much worse. Um, SSDs are quite a lot better in that, but here the bandwidth limitation isn't as big. There are still differences between 3.0, 4.0 and 5.0 SSDs, but they're not as huge and you would have to look at the random 4K IOPS rating that these SSDs have. But enough of the technical talk. Is there actually a difference in applications and in games? Well, in applications, not so much, especially in the ones that you use regularly, such as browsing or just starting your PC with uh, startup applications that are as standard and while you are starting your PC are opening up as well but more in games and yes, while there are improvements, which can be a few seconds even in loading times, which is probably the most beneficial thing where you are going to use them actually, or are you actually going to see a difference? While there are a few seconds at like 30 second loading times, for example, in Hogwarts Legacy or Forza Horizon 5, where there are very long loading times at the beginning of the game, for example, after an update or after you change settings or whatever, uh, those can experience quite a big benefit. But on short loading times, even if they are still like 15 seconds long, for example, with GTA 5, there only may be a few seconds of difference between 3.0 and 5.0. So, yeah, is it really worth it spending three times as much for an SSD? I kind of doubt it because 3.0 and 4.0 SSDs are so affordable right now. So I'd rather recommend getting a bigger 3.0 or 4.0 SSD rather than a faster 5.0 SSD just for the one second more faster loading time that you're probably not gonna notice anyway. I mean, yes, there may be some people that need that one second, but hey, I doubt that's actually true. Anyway, if you like this video and want to see more of this, feel free to subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a like or write in the comments what you wanna see next. And uh, yeah, that's it for me. I wish you a nice day and goodbye.